Rohit Sharma has recalled the time when he got to share the dressing room with former Australia captain Ricky Ponting for the Mumbai Indians in the 2013 edition of the Indian Premier League. In a live Instagram chat with India teammate Ravi Chandran Ashwin, he lavished praise on Ponting saying he was like from another planet. Rohit also explained why Ponting stepped down as captain midway through the tournament and handed over the reins to the current India vice captain in limited overs. The reason being he was not getting runs but Ponting had the tremendous ability to bring out the best in people particularly youngsters. Right so you came over to Mumbai obviously the connect is there but tell me when you landed up being the captain of Mumbai what what was it like what what were you going through were you learning on learning on the job from Ricky what was it See as uh, to be honest I was made vice captain in 2009 uh, in Deccan Chargers Mm-hmm. so i was given that responsibility uh with that team there so i used to be thinking about uh you know if i'm the vice captain i have to think about how i can help gilly and how i can suggest him especially about the indian players because there were so many unknown players in the team and what are their strengths what do they like to do and you know when put under pressure how they react and all that so all those information was very very crucial uh, at that stage uh, for gilly so i started putting that vice captaincy had long back actually you know and it was great fun uh, for me to also learn about my game and uh, how i talk about cricket how i talk about uh, various stuff related to cricket uh, analyzing player analyzing his strength weaknesses and all that and when i came to mumbai also uh, they didn't announce me as a vice captain obviously paji was there and then uh, bajupa was vice captain uh, so but i was always in that core group of mumbai uh, right. from, even from my first year so they uh, used to call me about uh, certain queries if they had in in the squad uh, so uh, that was that and then 2013 we got ricky ponting uh, in the auction and paji at that stage he no i think it was 2012 when paji said i don't want to captain anymore and bajupa was made captain and then in 2013 season you know i don't know what happened bajupa was not the captain so i thought it will it could be me but they got ponting obviously yeah i mean because yeah, he was sure. in the auction yeah he was in the auction but i was thinking before the auction there is nobody else i think it might be me so i started preparing started thinking in my head back then only that okay boss this might be this might come my way and i need to be ready for it uh then i remember i was i was part of uh, i think who i think oja was the one who we traded from dc i was very much part of that that was going to be a question anyway <laughs> yeah i was part of that trade and that's how i realized okay i might be the captain this year who knows and then during the auction we got ponting so obviously i thought okay chalo <laughs> i can't compete with ponting but yeah I, with being with him how he handled the team in the first six games even before he was the first one to arrive in india much before any other domestic player also you mm. can imagine his passion you can imagine his you know energy like he wanted to feel he wanted to feel the team he wanted to come and understand each and everybody he was mm. the one who called the shot and he said i want to first have a team bonding session with all of them and you know what the team bonding session was it was like uh four players sitting together and let's say if you and i are sitting uh in front so what you have to do is you have to talk good things about your player so i will talk positive about you ashwin this is i like your off spinner i like when you started bowling carrom ball so it's good things about you you always feel good when you listen about yourself right so in a way it made a very positive impact on everybody you no know, on yeah. on everybody like imagine ponting was in my group and there were two youngsters from domestic cricket now ponting is telling them you know i have watched your video you look solid man you can go way up you can if you if you if you if you handle the pressure if you handle this if you handle that you will reach where you want to reach so imagine what that youngster will be feeling so that was him so it started from there and then obviously he was not hitting the ball well he was not scoring runs so he said okay i have to take myself off from this uh job and let someone else take it and you know there were debate about dinesh karthik was also part of the team because there 
some people were thinking okay we can go to dinesh and but uh, even actually ponting called me up and he said uh, you know we want you to take the team ahead from here and uh, i know you you've got solid game sense and all that you can you will do a good job okay. so it was it started from there and then more or less i mean ponting actually was player cum coach he became mm. player cum coach after that and he was always there to help me he was always uh, you know he always stood in front if there was anything uh, if there was any issues or whatever he he stood in front and over the years 2014 2015 and 2016 three year, three years we worked with him i worked with him and i i just feel he is a is the guy from a different planet when it comes to you know motivate players uh, understanding uh, uh, what that player has in him and bring the best out of that player he is the best in that he the judgment of all these characters he is so good at it so so good at that and obviously last uh, i want to finish saying that he is one two championship two world cups he is one so he knows how to win big big championship and Correct. that to me was a great great uh, uh, great part about it